Hey, welcome back, everybody. This is another TTM video, and as we're fond of saying, we like to get autographs TTM or through the mail. That's all TTM stands for, through the mail. No reason to be intimidated. You just send your favorite star, athlete, or celebrity a request through the mail with a trading card or a photograph or even a magazine cover asking for their autograph. Put a self-addressed stamped envelope there, and you'll be surprised how many times you get returns. Sometimes you get return to senders like this first one I'm going to show you. But we've got seven others to go through as well. First one is a return to sender from the man himself, Archie Manning. Uh, he took a long time off for during the COVID when it first came out and was not signing at all. And I sent this about two months ago. For some reason, it's just now coming back. And I believe he put that stamp on there himself. That's a good address that I've received him before. And if he doesn't want to sign through the virus, that's perfectly fine with me. Sent my cards back and probably saved a stamp on the inside envelope. So that's fine. But Archie Manning, just be aware of that one. First legitimate return is coming from Suburban, Illinois. And that is former Golden Domer, Alan Pinkett. Sending quite a few cards, I think four, hopefully. Sharpies are a little bit low on ink. Still looks good, though. Oh, that looks good. That 91 Fleer looks really good. And then the 90 Pro Set. Nice. 4-4 from Alan Pinkett. And we'll feature this card right here. 50, 56 years old. As I said, he was an All-American two times at uh, Notre Dame. In fact, he left there as their all-time leading rusher, which has since been passed by uh, Audrey Denson, I believe. But... Um, he left there as a leading rusher in, in uh, college history at that storied university. Played about six or seven years in the NFL for the Oilers, as you see there, from 86 to 91. Ran for about 2,600 yards in the NFL. Had a pretty decent career. And then after his playing career, he became a uh, color analyst for Notre Dame games for a long time, maybe about 12, 13, 14 years, something like that. Got that back in 28 days, no fee for Alan Pinkett. Let's scoot this over a little bit. Next one's coming from Kansas City, Missouri. Kansas City, here I come. Ooh, got some uh, note cards. Willie Mays Akins. Unsigned note cards, signed two of two. Black Sharpie, Willie Akins, 28. Willie Aikens, 27, it looks like on the Angels card. Pretty cool. On that 84 tops traded, number one. And probably did alphabetic order. But you can see there, there's power numbers on the back. Real big power numbers. Uh, 29 and 110 there in his uh, last year in AAA. And his first year rookie ball in the major leagues, 21 and 81. And his first full season in the big leagues. He's 65 years old now. He played first base for eight years, from 77 to 85. And as I pointed out, he was a real, real slugger and got into some off-the-field issues in his uh, late in his playing career and kind of derailed a very promising career. But uh, since then, he's cleaned up his act. He's back in baseball now. I think he's a minor league advisor in the Royal system. And uh, as you see there, the big time, big time minor league career, three or four seasons in a row with 30 home runs and, seven, and 100 RBIs. Then he came up and had a great World Series in 1980 for the Royals. They lost the World Series that year, but uh, he had like four home runs or something. And then he got into a world of trouble after that. But what could have been? But he's back now and he's cleaned up his act. Nine days, no fee for Willie Aikens. So that's pretty cool. Next one is coming from Atlanta Metro. You get a lot of returns from Atlanta Metro. Ooh, let's see another note card. Charlie Trippy. Got that fit. Oh, yeah. That 55 Bowman is so sweet. Woo. And I only had that card to send him. I thought I was finished with Charlie Trippy. But uh, got that card in an eBay sale from, uh, we featured this in a mail day video. 
the baseball card shop that's over near Tony Black's hometown. They were running an extremely good deal on that on their eBay specials. So I picked that up, won that at an auction, and decided, well, here we go with Charlie Trippy again. And he's 98 years old now. We've gotten him several times in the past. He'll be 99 in December. But he's a Hall of Famer. And, uh, of course, one of the greatest all-around players in NFL history. He's the only man in the NFL Hall of Fame with 1,000 yards passing, 1,000 yards rushing, and 1,000 yards receiving. And he was such a great athlete, he could have played Major League Baseball as well. So don't hesitate with Charlie Trippi. He's a Hall of Famer. 14 days, no fee. 55 Bowman looks so sweet. Oh, man. I might have to send that to get that slabbed. 14 days, no fee. Next one's coming from Tampa St. Pete. Tampa St. Pete. We went down there for a vacation earlier. Don Robinson. Nice, Robbie. All right. He's 63 years old. We know him well. Got him on all the Pirates cards, of course. I'm a big Pirate fan. Big Don Robinson fan. There's a young picture of him. Let's feature that one. Um, as I've said a couple different times, we've gotten him back on 8x10s a long time ago. I don't know what TTM video that was, but it was a long time ago. Got two 8x10s. And uh, he's from this area, about 45, 50 minutes away. He grew up, was drafted out of high school, was an incredible athlete, was an all-state quarterback for a state championship team in high school. And um, then three years after high school, he went 14-6 and six and won NFL, NL Rookie of the Year, NL Pitcher, Rookie Pitcher of the Year. And uh, then the year after that, in 79, he was pitching well in the World Series for the uh, We Are Family, 1979 World Series champ for the Pirates. And uh, was also a great hitter. He's got his uh, three silver sluggers prominently displayed in his home in Bradenton. That's him there. That's my good buddy Barry, who we played college baseball together. Now, these two coached together at the State College of Florida, and those are the three Silver Slugger Awards. And that's the uh, upper deck card of him sliding to third base there. I don't know if you can pick that up or not. Those two guys coached together. Don Robinson's the pitching coach, State College of Florida, very strong uh, baseball school down in Bradenton. So that's pretty cool. Got to spend some time with him when I was down in Tampa, St. Pete. Have to report on that sometime later. But we had lunch and spent about two and a half or three hours together. But that was really cool. 14 days, no fee, Don Robinson. Been waiting to use that picture. <laughs> All right, next one's coming from Phoenix, Arizona. And there's one we've seen this week from a few people, Henry Cotto. That was a quick return from Mr. Cotto. Got that back in just eight days, no fee. He's 59 years old, former outfielder for 10 years, 84 to 93 for a few teams, mostly the Mariners, as you see on all three of these cards. That's that 92 card, so that's pretty late in his career. You can see he was a part-time player, stole a lot of bases for being a part-time player, stole about 130 in his career. 261 lifetime hitter, got a good signature, and he's free, and he's quick. Eight days for Henry Cotto. He's uh, been coaching in the Mariners system for years and years. Uh, now with the Giants, I believe. I'm going to show that trippy card. I don't want to hide that back there. But he coached in the uh, Arizona Fall League for the Giants not too recently. Not, not too in the distant past. I don't know if they're still having that or not. He may be working with their taxi squads or something. All right, eight days, no fee. North Texas, Dallas, Texas. Is this one? All right, Cliff Harris. Hall of Famer Cliff Harris. Did he sign both? 90. Nice. All right, he put Cliff Harris, 43, Hall of Fame. Cliff Harris, 43, Hall of Fame, 20. So evidently he forgot the 20 here. Still cool. Send him two rookie cards. These are 75 tops, I believe. Yeah, two rookie cards. He'd been in the league for several years by this time. But again, those defensive players didn't get much recognition from tops. You had to be in the league three or four years before you got a card. That was we saw recently on an Art Steel card. This is his fourth year in the league, I think. And 
they finally issued a rookie card for him. And he was already an all-pro, as was Cliff Harris. Because, uh, yeah, he was a free safety for 10 years from 70 to 79, all with the Cowboys. And he's in the class of 2020, of course. He'll be formally inducted at some point in the future. I don't know when. They might combine the class of 2020 and 2021 and just do it at the usual induction date. Hopefully things will be cleared up by the end of July or first week of August of next year, but who knows. But yeah, six times in the Pro Bowl on the all-decade team in the 1970s. And he's the final defensive player from that all-decade team to be enshrined. All the other members had long ago been inducted. Two-time Super Bowl champ, Super Bowls uh, 6 and 12. He played in five Super Bowls. That came back in 35 days. It took a while. No fee. I was getting nervous with those rookie cards out there. The final one's coming from Carroll Stream, Illinois. Don't know if you can top Cliff Harris. They had the Pope. Pope Don Paul. All right. Sent him four. 289 Fleers for the set. The 89 uh, rookies, score rookies, came in that little subset that I broke open, Rising Stars, and the 92 Donruss. All these White Sox cards. Let's feature the 89 Fleer because I'm building that set. Just kidding. <laughs> How many times because I continue to run that one into the uh, ground? I don't even know. Yeah, he's 58 years old, former uh, right-handed relief pitcher. He pitched for 11 years, 88 to 98. Several teams, although you see all these with the White Sox. He pitched um, maybe six years with the White Sox. 24 and 23 overall record. He won a World Series ring in 97 with the Marlins. And he's still involved with the White Sox organization. He's a Chicago guy. I think he was born and raised in Chicago. Went to the University of Illinois. And it's nine days, no fee. Don Paul. I think you're noticing a, uh, a trend with today's results. No fee for any of these folks. Alan Pinkett, 28 days, no fee. Willie Aikens, nine days, no fee. Charlie Trippy, 14 days, no fee. Don Robinson, 14 days, no fee. Henry Cotto, eight days. Cliff Harris, 35 days. And Don Paul, nine days, no fee for anyone. You guys want some free autographs? Go out and get these folks. Very legible autographs. Fairly quick return times. And all for free. Thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below. Leave a comment. I'll put a one-click subscription right here. Make sure you hit that notification bell. That way you'll be notified of all my future videos. And uh, if you haven't seen last week's video, I'm going to put a link right there. You can one-click that. Hey, thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.